Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to this uh, new update on the Bitcoin price. We have some price action going on here as usual during the weekend. So we're going to analyze today starting from the one hour time frame. And before we start a little reminder, we just have five days left that you can claim this free bonus here on Bybit. If you register with my referral link, you can put this voucher code in the reward sub of Bybit to get this extra bonus up to $180 if you put a deposit of at least 0.1 Bitcoin into your wallet there. And also if you want another exchange to trade Bitcoin and other assets up to 100x leverage because on Prime XPT or Femex, for example, you can trade also altcoins and currently I'm not only trading on this uh, Femex uh, trading event, but also I have some trades opened on Prime XPT. This is where you can get this special feature with this co-vesting thing where you can just copy paste other traders without doing anything. You just have to put the money in which you want to risk. And if it's working well for you, then you can do very nice profits without even have to trade yourself. So definitely go and try it out, this special feature on Prime XPT. If you're interested, you find also the referral link down below here in the video description. I think you will also get some bonus if you put a first deposit here on Prime XPT on Femex and Bybit. It's around $90 that you anyway get if you use my link and you also support the channel. All right, my friends. And today we're going to start with the one hour time frame because currently after this big push here to the upside that we had overnight towards $13,400, which also took out this high that we had here at $13,240, you can see that we got rejected here instantly. And currently we're trading below the 20 and 50 moving average in the one hour time frame. So what I'm expecting here in the next couple of hours after this pump, of course, is a possible short lift dump that could take us towards 12,800 hundred potentially even towards the 200 moving average in the one hour down at 12,270 and this is where I'm also expecting a big bounce to the upside if we really gonna see a drop below 12,800 dollar because so far it's holding as a support so in the worst case scenario for today I'm not expecting prices below 12,270 so if you are taking a short for example over here then watch out to put a tight stop loss and also to take profits because during the weekend usually we retrace back here where we close the CMEs on Friday and now we can also have a quick look into the Bollinger Band because here also you can see that we're squeezing in this tiny channel and even with this pump here during the night we didn't overshooting it to the upside that much so we just came to the top and got rejected instantly and right now we are fighting here with the bottom and it also looks like that we could see here continuation to the downside even though we have stochastic currently in oversold condition so we should see in theory a bounce and the problem is only that the MACD and KSC are shifted to the downside so this is still looking quite bearish and I'm expecting here possible $12,800 maybe even lower towards $12,300 area for today before maybe we're going to retrace back here towards $13,000 on Monday because this is where the CMEs has closed and now we can switch over into the four hour time frame because here you can see that currently the 20 moving average is holding perfectly as a support. So in theory, we shouldn't drop and close four hour candles below $12,900. So even though we could see a possible week below, in theory, we should close these candles above $12,900. Only if we're going to see a four hour close below this price level, so below $12,900, then we could see a possible bigger correction, at least towards $12,200 and potentially even lower because the 200 moving average currently still down here at the main support of around eleven thousand two hundred dollar also we had here a bearish divergence in the rsi we had a lower high and in the price a higher high so that of course is a bearish sign and we could see in theory a continuation here to the downside it already could have played out already with this dump but we're gonna have to see if we're gonna close here four hour candles now above or below the 20 moving average the other problem is that we got another sell signal here in my own indicator and that also could indicate that there is weakness right now here at those price levels and we could see a correction even though I still think that we could have this final touch here of $14,000 and here we're gonna see if we're able to push higher or not because I think if we're gonna get rejected here then we're gonna see a major correction before we gear up for another attack of this 14,000 
resistance and then see a big push towards 16 and 20 thousand dollar per bitcoin and if we open up the bollinger band in the four hour you can see that currently also here we're squeezing in this uh, tiny channel and currently we are right here on the bearish side and the bottom is at 12,770 so if we're gonna overshooting it to the downside and i'm expecting to reach this possible 12,000 area level and also you can see that the MACD and KSC now are shifted to the downside since yesterday and this is also where i took a little short position over on femex for the trading event so so probably i'm gonna close it today or at least before we're gonna start the cmes again stochastic also had a bearish cross so if we're gonna see such a correction here towards 12,770, potentially also lower than it should happen in the next couple of hours and now we can also open up the daily time frame because here you can see that currently we are trading far away from all the moving averages. The 20 currently is right here at $12,000. So that's why this price level here of around 12K is very important here to see continuation to the upside. And this also could be a potential bottom area in case that we're going to see a correction right now before reaching $14,000. Also, my own indicator is looking a bit exhausted here. So we could see in theory a bigger correction here towards the 20 daily moving average. And from there, we're going to continue to the upside. But currently, there are some warning signs that we could see at least a short lift correction here before we're gearing up here for a possible $14,000 retest and if we have a look into the bollinger band you can see that currently we are also fighting with the top here so a correction towards these two moving averages here between 12,400 and 12,000 dollar is still in the cards even though we have KST and MACD still shifted to the upside which of course is very bullish for the long term only stochastic is looking a bit toppy here so if we're going to have a short lift correction then watch out for this 12k area this is I think also where I'm going to open up a long position to ride it up towards 14k if we are not reaching 14k before this possible correction and if we have a look here into the weekly time frame you can see that currently the price is still trading above the last high that we had here of $12,500 and I think if we are able to close today's candle above $12,500 we should be seeing continuation here to the upside to at least test $14,000 and in that case even though we could see another correction and the retest of this 12k area or this 20 weekly moving average currently at around $11,000 we will remain still very bullish here and we should see big continuations to the upside even though there are of course always some pullbacks like we also have seen here in the last couple of weeks so don't forget my friends never FOMO in into a rally wait for pullbacks wait for dips enter there and then ride it up once we're gonna start to take off and I think one of these next pullbacks that we're gonna see for sure here in the next couple of days and weeks are most likely the last ones before we are really starting to head to new levels towards 20k and higher because the weekly time frame is still looking very very bullish and we should expect big things here in the future even if we have a look here into the Bollinger Band you can see that after bottoming out in March we just started our new bull run and this is really just the beginning and you can see every time that we have seen a little dip here towards the middle of the Bollinger Band we immediately had a nice big bounce to the upside and currently also all the indicators are turning back into bull mode and we should expect also here big pushes to the upside so let's see if we are able to reach fourteen thousand dollar before we gonna see a correction or a pullback where we can scale in again new long positions and also buy even more bitcoin don't forget my friends try to accumulate as much bitcoins as possible because i think it's just a matter of days and weeks before we are really starting to take off off here and you will never see those prices ever again and also if you are trading on Bybit or Femex for example also with small amounts or if you still have some tether on the sideline you can use them to trade Bitcoin and other cryptos here on those platforms even with small money you can do some nice gains so definitely try it out sign up to one of those exchanges that I recommend you with the links down below here in the video description put some money in there and try it out if you don't feel too much confident in trading yourself then maybe this prime XPT co-vesting thing is the thing for you you can try it out maybe with a small portion of your 
your trading amount and then you're gonna see if it's gonna work out for you or not and if you also want to get for example access to my own indicator you can contact me over on a discord and of course the discord trading chat is completely for free you can join it with the link down below here and also you are very welcome to join my twitch channel all the links are down below here and with some of them you can also get some free money if you open up an account for example on coinbase or swiss borg if you're completely new in the crypto space with these links you can get some extra money that you immediately can also use to buy even more cryptos and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now i'm gonna travel back to zurich today we're gonna see us all in the next one and please moon up the likes and subscribe here to the channel i do daily ta videos and also don't forget that we still have these 50 dollars worth in bitcoin giveaway with every 2000 subscribers so thank you very much for your support my friends we're gonna see us all in the next one bye